Hey guys, this is the Random Ease with a Mixcraft tutorial. This is what I used to record all of my music. And I'm going to be talking about how to add a virtual instrument track, like a MIDI. So you go to Add Track, and you click on it, and you'll see that a list pops up. You go down to Insert Virtual Instrument Track. Give my slow computer a second. Alright, and then there's your instrument track. And right there, next to the mute button, you'll see a set of piano keys. So you just click on that and a box should pop up. I'm going to use drums, the power kit. You'll find drums in between distorted and electric guitar. And then over here on the left, uh, I'm sorry, the right, you'll see a list of different drum sounds. Different drum MIDI. I'll go with the power kit because that's usually what I use. Um, so then we can close that. So I could just click on that again. And what I do, because the drums sound really crappy by themselves, so what I do is I go into the effects, right by the uh, arm button, and I, where it says select an effect, I just click on it, and I go down to Acoustica Distortion, and then under Preset, I click Light Distortion. And next, I click, and I add a new effect, and I click Acoustica EQ, and then under presets, I click Classic V. And these presets and effects are all built into Mixcraft, in case you didn't know. All right, so then you just right click on that track in the, uh, how do you say, uh, playboard or storyboard, whatever you want to call it. Just right click and go down to the very bottom, add instrument clip. And this piano roll appears back here, or down here. I usually click the undock button and I'll maximize the window and then you could just add your bass drums like so and then there's your drum beat that's a little fast but I mean but there's your tutorial and then, of course, just like any other sound clip, you can just move it around. Um, keep in mind, the virtual sounds, the sound clips for the virtual instruments have to stay in a virtual instrument track. You can take this and say if you had like a bass guitar virtual instrument, you could actually take the, uh, the drum track, the sound, and you could put it down where the bass guitar is. But it does have to stay in a virtual instrument track. You can actually drag it down into a different track. And... Before I go, I'll show you a quick tip for that. I usually right-click on the virtual instrument track, and you can go down to Mix to Audio Track, and it creates a new audio track, but then there's your drum beat as a sound file. So, thanks for watching. Leave a comment, and, yeah, uh, thumbs up this video. Subscribe. Freeloaders. Alright, have a nice day.